People often ask me about my trademark term, embracing their reality, and how that's different from validating, reder redirecting, distracting. When you're embracing someone's reality, you're doing what's true for them, no matter where it is. And you're taking the word lying, throwing it away, and not worrying about it because you're doing what's true for that person. You're not lying, you're not making anything up. But validation in particular gets really hung up on the word lying. And uh, Naomi, who has since passed, um, has recently passed away, she always taught, right, don't lie to the person with dementia. I think that's a really confusing thing to say, frankly. Um, and instead, I like to change it and say, let's embrace their reality and do what's true for them. Validation and redirection teach us to say things like, oh, sounds like you miss your mom when the person says, where's my mom? What I'm saying is instead find out where that person's reality is and do that. So, um, I miss my mom or uh, sorry, uh, where's my mom? You could say, instead of sounds like you miss your mom, you can say, where do you think she is? Right? Where do you think she is? That person will tell you where they think their loved one is, or they might say, I don't know. And therefore you don't know either. You could say, that sounds about right. I think they're, insert wherever the person said they were. This gets you not painted into a corner, right? And we make sure we do what's true for that person. People are oftentimes uncomfortable with this, right? They feel like, well, I have to tell mom the truth. No, you don't. You don't have to tell her the truth of our reality. And what we don't want to do is just kind of ignore her question entirely by saying like, sounds like you miss your mom, right? I think that is a total cop out. You didn't answer her question. You just avoided it out of fear of doing what was true for her. So that's what I really mean. I actually did an interview recently for a client of mine and the woman said, you know, I was looking at your website and I love this whole embracing the reality thing. She said, it sounds like a cool twist on validation. And I was like, that's a great way of putting it. That's pretty much exactly what it is. Adding this piece of instead of just being terrified of lying to the person, what if we just found out where the truth was and did that instead? Hope this brings some clarity to this topic. Um, and there's tons of information about embracing their reality on my website, including an e-kit that you can download in my shop. Check it out.